Well, what happened evidently? Evidently, there it was a worldwide alert for uh, a, a terrorism uh, since the last show, and they had to close a whole lot of embassies. Did you well, hear about that? I did hear about that, and you know, the first thing I thought about is, but we had a way to warn all the people, some color-coded thingy? Yeah. Yeah, during and, that time and, and, in which and we were... Obama got rid of that. Yeah. And now we needed it again. Now, now, save the children. Oh, my God. So, listen, what really was the story? And first of all, let me not deny that there are terrorist threats around the world. Okay? Fine. You there probably, may be one right now. There may be one right now. We're not saying there isn't. But what we've noticed since I, at least what I've noticed since we have lived overseas, is the difference in media coverage between what I, what I see when I go home and what is, you know, rational. Uh, so, well, but, but yeah. hold on a minute. Uh, to, to be fair, in America, the cable news industry, yeah. where we've got several channels trying to fill yeah. airspace yeah. 24-7, yeah. has been known to overreact and overreact. Sometimes, sometimes like a kid, twelve-year-old kid on Ritalin, for God's sake, <laughs> Jesus. Now, I I want to play for you two things that I, I I studied media, by the way. Which, by the way, with that degree, it qualifies me to watch television. <laughs> Thank you very much. But I have a media degree, and one of the things we were talking about is how uh, media changed people's habits and how the use of propaganda gets the public to react the way you want. I'm going to play you, first of all, the reporting of the, uh, the the embassy closures as reported by a European news organization. Okay, This is what went on in Europe. And I want you to listen to this. And uh, here you go. This is, this is what I recorded. This is a European news organization about the closure of the embassies. The United States is to keep some of its embassies in North Africa and the Middle East closed until the end of the week as a precaution due to a possible al-Qaeda terror threat. Yesterday, 21 diplomatic posts were shut in response to intelligence or so-called intercepts gathered from the phones and emails of terrorist suspects. Yes. Yes, that was that was what we call news and information. Look, we're closing some embassies till the end of the week. There has been some information, but I mean, it's very kind of like news. This news, you know, this is something that we're going to have to deal with. This is uh, something that's happening in the world. Right, today. we shouldn't panic. Okay, panic would be you know bad. I love the fact that she sounds Notice like she. That, that, that there wasn't any overblown uh, use of language. Persuade, well, yeah. the, the, uh, setting a tone. To try to inflame fear. It's all. It's what we call rhetoric. Okay, and uh, it was so. It was really almost like she's announcing a golf tournament. You know, I mean, it's, it was that much. Oh, it so, wasn't quite that poor. But no, it was. It was. She's very, actually quite a good. Very civilized. Woman. Don't worry. It will be fine. That's all right. Don't think. Very comforting. I like that. I'm I'm cautious, but I like that. So now, you like that in a news yeah, presenter. Now, ABC News. I'm not even talking Fox. ABC News, the same day, came out with this. Another reminder of this uncertain world. There is a worldwide alert that al-Qaeda is looking for a moment to strike. Today, the State Department issuing an alert warning Americans overseas that a plot is underway. But are there specific targets and what should Americans do? ABC's chief global affairs correspondent Martha Raddatz tracking all the latest developments for us tonight. Martha. Diane, today's global travel alert comes as the State Department is preparing to shut down more than 20 embassies and consulates, the most to be closed since 9-11. A terrible reminder for Americans that we are still major targets. Oh, my God. 9-11, Bill. 9-11. <laughs> We're still a target. Uh, oh, my God. Think of the children. <laughs> Well, you know something? I listened to those two together. And you know something? If I lived in that country, I'd be crazy. It's like the media have you in a Skinner box. And every time they want you to panic, they mention 9-11. We're still the target. Can, can yeah, you but, analyze but, but, those but, but, words that she but, but, uses? This has been happening for so oh, long. God. Don't you think that most Americans get it? 
No, I don't. This is this is the ABC. This is this is ABC mainline American television. Now they are reporting this as uh, using every form of persuasion or rhetoric to compare closing a few closing some embassies in the Middle East for a week to nine eleven. 